Good morning everyone. I am welcome you all to this 28th day of our uh, CSR online training. Today we are going to discuss about the unit 10 remaining parts. Yesterday we discussed some uh, uh, topics in the unit 10. Uh, before I enter into the session, please let me know. Am I audible? Can you see my slides? Please respond in chat box. Yeah, thank you for your response, ma'am. Uh, now we are entering into the session. In the uh, yesterday, we discussed about some uh, uh, species eco ecosystem related topics. Today, how we can uh, the classifying uh, the how they are classifying the particular organisms, particular populations. That is the population characterizations is a uh, one group how they uh, how we can uh, separate one group separate one population it's uh, this human uh, the study of human population it's called as the tomography in the uh, likewise uh, every uh, some animals are uh, uh, elephants tigers or all are there uh, grouped the group of individuals of same species living in the same geographical area it's very important in the population characterization we how we can calculate now same indi individuals of same species living in the same geographical region and uh, then they can able to together uh, here the one uh, the in the population characterization the study of other organisms like in here the human uh, population is called as the uh, the study of human population is called as the demography in a uh, study of other organism is called as the population ecology ecology here uh, in here meaning is the uh, uh, all environmental factors we can uh, other uh, it's vary for various organisms <laughs> so we include they include the population ecology uh, in this in this population characterization we can characterize the plant animal uh, many uh, uh, organisms here for example is uh, uh, the some uh, some places some parks only specific for crocodiles uh, one some space some parks are only for deers uh, some park are parks are only responsible for the monkey uh, all things are uh, one uh, it's a uh, one species they are living in one geographical area that is specific region so that uh, that uh, for developing this population in one particular place they are uh, making some uh, park planning setting hunting and fish limiting that uh, there is a uh, some time of uh, uh, fishing periods are stopped in particular uh, one region that fish they uh, the fishers are not allowed the fishermen are not allowed in that region for particular time that is all all about the the fishing limits uh, like uh, some uh, turtles are uh, they are breeding in uh, nearby the maharashtra area uh, maharashtra sea so arabic arabic ocean and uh, some some of uh, Punjab region, the Punjab Ciso region, they are pro they the turtles are come from various countries and breeding in a, uh, in this are um, Mannar Ocean and uh, Arabic Ocean. These are only some population uh, characterization. They are make a uh, make a say, as they are present in one place and they are able to breeding in together in a particular place that called as the, that that is included in the uh, this uh, population ecology in identification of endangered species okay uh, here uh, for uh, for this uh, identification of endangered species western gods have some specific medicinal plants okay oh, some uh, that uh, that uh, in that western gods is started from uh, the uh, Kanagomari Yen to that uh, Nagarkoil 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 to 
the its uh, overall kerala till kerala the all border of uh, the that regions it's having the various hills of western ghats that various hills is having uh, various trees that species the tree is only present in that hill alone that is specific so endangered species so uh, that no, that tree is not able to grow on the particular uh, in the another uh, another place so there is a endangered species okay uh, these are all the in the, the must, uh, population characterization here the what is the parameters we can the size the size is the uh, is uh, time to number of individuals in the population it means size means it's a count and uh, in the factor that contribute to the size of population what are the factors uh, it's uh, influence in the population uh, that is a number of species that are born that are died in the particular region is a mortality Na natality means that is born uh, the uh, mortality is a died species migration the species transfer from one place to another this is migration is possible for birds animals uh, and uh, my in the uh, some birds okay uh, they are uh, uh, last year one report uh, as per my knowledge uh, some birds uh, bird nangal is a bird breeding place that uh, that place is no it's uh, there is no water so the the birds are migrated to nearby place called marida andagam so it's one uh, for example there is a mi there is migration means no long distance from their regular place that they are that is nearer place because that is that they need water so they move from one place to another place and immigration immigration means number of this is the species that no uh, that enter into the land uh, so in one land that they are come they are newly coming and settle that one um in uh, then immigration immigration means that is the entered and emi emigration means it's a leaving it's totally moved migration means they are moved to one place but they are back to their uh, the original place but immigration means that is entered that one particular place uh, that species are enter newly enter and make a uh, life ecosystem in that place then emigration means that is leave from one land okay uh, in this population change uh, we have the uh, graph stages three stages one is the growth phase in the growth phase the population is increase in size okay uh, because there is the uh, developmental phase the growth phase that population become increase there are more births than the, the death and stability the population does not increase or decrease they maintain in one particular same level then decline phase in the decline phase the population is become decrease uh, that uh, uh, death rate is uh, higher than the birth rate okay uh, these are all so common factors in the uh, changes population changes okay this is the two type of uh, populations so one is a rapid growth population another is a gradual growth population this uh, rapid growth is possible for the microorganisms okay for example e coli it uh, it can divide at double in 20 minutes but uh, that uh, like uh, like that organisms are uh, one particular time it may it reach maximum individuals they are they are accumulated and in that uh, gradual that are uh, 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 suitable for animals plants birds that make some uh, some time to uh, time for the population product produce population and as per the uh, darwin's observation the popula about the population uh, that uh, growth he, he said four different points okay uh, it, it's taken from one book uh, so only they mention the uh, the concept it's uh, important observation is all populations are able to grow rapidly the, the uh, every organisms every spe every species can grow in rapidly 
then it remains uh, it remains constant in size okay uh, one it also constant in size there is a limit to natural resource okay there is a demand okay that may be that may happen okay uh, so populations become high now there was a demand happen that due to the demand the population is genetic way that may within uh, uh, they are uh, making the competition that they face the competition between them that that due to that make a death so that kind of things uh, within the within a given population that is a genetic variations also happen so due to the resource demand they are change their genetical uh, condition so if they change the genetical effect means they can survive with the specific condition this is the darwin's uh, observation in this uh, uh, here uh, the, uh, the another concept is population density if the population density become low of the na so here we can found alone one 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 uh, bird so that is uh, they having the lim- uh, some particular ca- amount of uh, fishes that is enough for the the particular one bird but if there is high density but there is a uh, uh resource is high here for this uh, concept but some some animals there was a uh, demand happened due to the demand only they are prov- they are built up their uh, honeycombs uh, it's one concept in high density if there is a demand in a source they build their own, the honeycomb that home uh, that uh, that make a a uh, large area for their survival an attachment can uh, it's a spacing based uh, one uh, in the in the classification we have clumped uniform random okay clumped means uh, it's all uh, close uh, it's all closely present it's uh, they are uh, gathered around a source they have food means they are around the like ant uh, sorry like ant uh, are deers that kind of things the one they found the food any anywhere or source anywhere they are go to the particular one place and uh, gather around around the resource this uniform it's a one plant it's uh, present only particular uh, feet or distance alone it's uniformly grown it's uh, if they grown in automatic manner means or that kind that thing also happen with the particular distance maintenance it's a natural uh, uh, natural uh, echo mean uh, effect of this plant these plants are not present closely between the both plants they maintain some distance in nature itself some it's a random the random pattern they are uh, occur, they occur without any uh, regards the they are not uh, uh, developed for their uh, uh, food resource resource or anything they are uh, reg- other individuals they differ from individuals they may clumsy they may be uh, different uh, it's, it's uh, divided Uh, it's all about the uh, the growth curve it's one of the other uh, explanation of uh, our uh, the exponential curve means the our population become uh, high at particular uh, short time of period and uh, the in the logical logistic growth that takes some time and in the growth curve the exponential growth it's a geometric uh it's a it's a geometric based one in that uh, we uh, we have its uh, ideal the limitless growth okay it's a, a population based one that is uh, so there is a ideal i mean limitless growth and uh, that uh, that curves are j shaped one is shaped one Uh, it's a the j shaped curve this is a look like j right this j like is a exponential curve uh, it's look like yes so it's called as the logical curve this uh, is the one of uh, uh, their uh, short form it's also the same thing 
ओके वॉट स्टॉप दि पॉप्युलेशन ग्रोथ इफ दर इज दि फेज द डिक्लाइन राइट दिस डिक्लाइन फेज दैट दैर इज दैर इज ऑन डिक्लाइन फेज वही दैट हैपन दैट टू टू डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स आर देर वन इज द डेमोग्राफिक कॉम्पोनेंट डेमोग्राफिक कॉम्पोनेंट मीन्स इट्स अ ह्यूमन uh birth death movement all those things and population regulate regulating factor means is the extrinsic extrinsic and intrinsic uh here uh, the any species are uh for the population is uh, very depends on the uh, their uh, demographical compass the birth death movement the birth death movement means the is the birth of the human is higher in one century that is a demand of food is high so the they need a place for all those things they are uh, disturbing the ecosystem they are uh, spoil the plants they are spoil the uh, lands they are that uh, so they that affect the population of other species then the extrin- other extrinsic p- uh, factors are predation food supply disease parasites others and landscapes intrinsic uh, factors are social physiology and genetic factors in the population regulation uh, they have provide in all the uh, here the f- some uh, the population regulate and related questions they are a common observation of nature based question okay that remind uh, that uh, in that wh- what is the mechanism it's regulate or control the Uh, population size uh, here they depends they provided the example with the curves okay this curve is called as the k sub k curve and r strategy in this uh, k and r strategy is make a question so this are the major focusing questions the important question is what a mechanism it regulates if they base regulate and control the population they in that two mark also the basic uh, concept is comes from this question uh, if the population seems equilibrium they are nearer to k is it right or keep the population near to k this is the some exam some co- possible questions so only i'm included okay due uh, for this population regulation how we can uh, understand okay population regulation is depends on the density dependent one okay density is depends on the birth and death rate of rate that birth and death rate is maker made by the feed made the feedback regulation okay uh, if there is one particular species is high in nature that species is automatically reach one feedback in the feedback regulation and it it become die the competition just that affects this uh, uh, they are affected by the many factors this uh, density is affected by the competition of resource okay there is a competition means there was a uh, it's uh, they are uh, make a fight with them uh, so they are uh, re- they are uh, uh, make they face the some competition for resource the territory territory and disease predation is a normal one then in the crowded population its a density is density density is make a competition for the resource so the, the this due to this competition there was a low birth rate okay next it's divided into two and this population regulation is a popul density dependent and density independent okay in the density independent death result is regardless of population size this d- death rate is not affect uh, affect the uh, the population so that this independent factors means the weather condition acidity salinity fair fires and cat uh, catastrophes these are all the factors they won't affect the uh population there may the population is uh, uh population size <coughs> that in the in the den- dependent uh, density dependent it's affect the population here the 
லைஃப் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி இந்த லைஃப் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் தி த்ரீ செஷன்ஸ் ஆனஸ்தி என்விரான்மெண்டல் சீசனல் என்விரான்மெண்ட் ஸ்டேபிள் என்விரான்மெண்ட் அன்ஸ்டேபிள் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் என்விரான்மெண்டல் சீசனல் மீன்ஸ் தேர் வாஸ் அ சேஞ்சஸ் ஹேப்பன் அண்ட் த பீரியட்ஸ் ஆர் டிவைடட் த இட்ஸ் சைக்கிளிக் பீரியட்ஸ் இஃப் தேர் இஸ் என்விரான்மெண்டல் ஸ்டேபிள் மீன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ ஃபைன் இட்ஸ் அ ஸ்பேஷ் அத ஸ்பார்ஷியல் வேரியேஷன் தேர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் பியம் ஹேப்பன் வின் தி இன் தீஸ் பர்டிகுலர் என்விரான்மெண்டல் ஸ்டேபிள் கண்டிஷன் தேட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பை தி கே ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி அண்ட் த என்விரான்மெண்டல் அன்ஸ்டேபிள் கண்டிஷன் தட் இஸ் லார்ஜ் ஸ்கேல்டு ஸ்பேஷ் ஸ்பேஷியல் ஸ்பார்ஷியல் வேரியேஷன் தேட் திங் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பை தி ஆர் செலெக்ஷன் so environmental unstable condition of life history is explained with the r selection that is our strategy in environmental stable it's a uh, equilibrium condition that equilibrium condition is explained by the k strategy uh, there is opportunities are there in environmental unstable condition opportunities opportunistic condition and stable in one of the stable that is a equilibrium condition it's a comparison this uh, it's very important concept in this csir exam point of view in the life history of or the life history strategy okay in this life history strategy it's a uh, it's two uh, r strategy and k strategy in the offspring of uh, its offspring is so uh, many and small in uh, it's higher higher and uh, it's a uh, uh, it's very small in r so high r rate is there but in the k strategy the offspring is very fewer but they are larger one now offspring survival rate is low in r strategy high in k strategy parental care is rare in the r strategy they are make uh, their uh, depends on the opportunity fic nature and in the k strategy this is a common parental care in the reproductive ages is uh, earlier in the r strategies uh, k strategy is a later later condition uh, this in the periods uh, it's a reproot sessions is uh, one fews one to few alone but in a cash strategy is the seasons are many habitats are unstable and temporary one for our strategy uh, in the cash strategy it's a stable and permanent one in the competitiveness there is no comp- low competition in our strategy a uh, high sta- competition in the cash strategy in the population regulation the density independent uh, the density dependent one scale k strategy uh, in the population fle- uh, fluctuation its eruptives the k strategy is stable near to k i mean k means this uh, it's near to the k value for example uh, we can uh, see we can uh, compare the human and the stay uh, the tribal peoples also in the k strategy in the r strategy is uh, uh, they are uh, ma- they are uh, making many different uh, uh, they are mobile they can move to many places and make an uh, ca- ma- there is no competition between that is a small population for their uh, density dependent the independent they are uh change their habit that habitat and behaviors for their for the nature changes and many species many animals also uh, doing this kind of uh, uh, life strategies it's all about the all explained life strategies so in this uh, k factor how we can classifying this super k factor this uh, is a uh, um, is a k factor the covitality 
general factors of personalities this all is for the understanding the and draw the graph in a, it's a, another uh, comparison here uh, in the r strategy example for r strategy bacteria fungi insect small rattans in the k strategy long living plant large mammals humans and uh, raptors these are all the examples the density dependent is competition predation uh, the in the dens density independent example is uh, the climate you want the firing the forest firing these are all the things that happen with the density independent okay uh, this uh, concept meta population is uh, one uh, interesting one because in meta population or uh, the sub populations is unstable the uh, that group of uh, the sub populations are called as the meta population individual sub populations may be gone may go extinct or overall populations is persisted persist that is may be or uh, uh, exhaust but in the uh, this uh, image you can see this overall population is called as the meta population this small small sub group populations are there this sub populations are well uh, it's performing some populations are performing well some populations are performing poor this all things are totally calculated in the meta population if uh, this is no no is not performing it's uh, Uh, per, uh, persist one means uh, this uh, sorry extinct one means the other the uh, other population uh, play a major role and they that overcome their loss so there is no loss in the uh, uh, populations loss in the meta populations the and the another concept here is the dispersal in the dispersal the dispersal among uh, the patches is a sure long term viability it's make a long term viability it's a meta population first explained by the classic uh, levins uh, the levins uh, explain the co concept the next uh, they are explain this type their paper title is this uh, the the about the patches and the colonies Here you can see if you are experienced with the equally means you can see the uh, our uh, that uh, equally population this colony colony form formulation that formation equally colonies are they are same population but they are grouped in different places though that is a colonies okay but the whole thing is also equally they are all things are equally this is higher much higher level of interaction between the individuals in the within one patches this patch means this one small small rounds are called as the patches all patches are relatively small this patches are non uh, tribal uh, the probability of local extinction these are the types of meta population in the classic levins uh, they say uh, they said small small Uh, uh rounds the small populations some of them connected some of them not connected connected populations are in uh, uh, its uh, active mode there is no extinct one this uh, small small rounds are extinct one the main ice main iceland is on concept main iceland concept in the main iceland concept one is play a major role others are play it's a it's a small small things it's uh, separated from this particular one ice uh, one uh, main uh, mainland these are all the iceland and patches uh, patchy population here all populations are in active mode they are main small small mainland uh, they are connected and it's one, that one group is called as the patchy uh, population non equilibrium that is not connected there are ma many species in a small population an intermediate case in the intermediate case the uh, there in one patch there is uh, patchy population uh, that 
but uh, patchy population make a small group a small island population so that is the intermediate case that is the uh, it's a correlation between the mainland island and the patchy population it's close uh, it's intermediate this is the intermediate for both in uh, uh, this are the some uh, uh, question point of view points in this uh, number of resource that is the number of source is single here mother satellite this is a main and uh, uh, for this is a population based one uh, this they are explained with the uh, um, this uh, various concepts it's a single one a source is single uh, its genetic vi vi variability is reduced one and uh, private alleles are less uh, than a source colonies it's higher with the source the probable assignments probability is uh, higher with the source here the in this population you can see the uh, uh, three uh, subgroups here you can see uh, two subgroup the one subgroup with the two main group the stop the stepping stone it's a single uh, number of source this is the so this is the source that providing the small population that small population make a subpopulation uh, then uh, the in iceland uh, one multiple the source is multiple abc is also source it's array uh, the average in the meta population genetic variation may happen but meta population is a uniform within the meta pop, uh, in the uh, assignment probability these are all the factors in the exam point of view they ask the question like this uh, they are uh, they provided the uh, the mother satellite or stepping stone or iceland meta population based on that they ask number of resources uh, single for the mother satellite and stepping stone that he like uh, and here the iceland meta population meta population they having the multiple resources okay oh it's a one general example example it's iceland that is a ex for a population they explain the caribbean iceland in uh, habitat iceland or uh, area is not iceland the lakes are so the iceland mountain trout unusual geographicals uh, and uh, desert has that are all the isol isolated areas that as icelands and uh, the example for anthrogenic meta population means it's a uh, remnant fragment after the deforestation this is the anthropogenic meta population meta population example that is a remnant fragment uh, fragments after the deforestation this is the comparison between the normal population and meta population this normal population is closed one and meta population is open open to population group individuals are same individuals the same in the same place but so is same in the meta population same individuals live in the different places at the same time and in the individual here the individuals are added only through the birth birth and loss of the death here the individuals are added to the immigration and the loss through the emigration the main thing in the meta population immigration and migration emigration immigration and emigration and local population they are having the death and sorry um, normal population they are having the death and birth in impact takes like uh, place within the sub populations like for interaction the migration from one local population to another local patches is possible it's a uh, one ex uh, what is the teams teams in the population we have the teams in the term okay this what is this term means it's a group of interbreeding organism interbreeding organism it's make a local population it's maybe in a smallest collective unit of the plant or animal population uh, this is all the hybrids okay this populations are uh, this uh, is a unit of study this the demis is a interbreeding organ the group of interbreeding organism uh, the another term is a depress uh, dispersal <coughs> model 
this model we have two populations continuous population and discrete population in the continuous population we have the stepping stone model and we see in that image itself previous image itself it's a uh, isolating by the distance there is a same population we are isolating by the same distance here you can see one two three four five six seven eight that is distance by same population uh, yes uh, same populations are distance by the one same distance area it's uh, uh, in the uh, it's uh, this is a discrete one they are separated one race right? uh, and Iceland, Iceland model uh, that were the one place one place to another place okay this is the bar line they are moved from one place to another place with a particular distance this is the uh, discrete population discrete population means stepping stone and Iceland model in the depressed continuous population they are having isolation by the distance is uh, also some same distance maintenance they are not uh, separated in uh, Iceland uh, separated they are living in one particular place and they are different dif divided into the distance in the in inter interdemic uh, selection model it's a phone example for our model explanation because every uh, every uh, species are if there is uh, move to one place now that make some genetical change that may be the positive that may be the failure here the interdermic selection model they explain with the model the uh, selfish gene that is the yes gene is uh, uh, that is higher in the report rate it's one uh, initial uh, uh, modification that uh, this uh, due to this process uh, the population uh, a variation that make a change in one species the first generation that is successful that after that second generation that make a defect to the organism that organism become extinct is the interpopulation the endemic selection so entire breeding the in the selection of entire breeding population as the basic unit the extreme form of this group selection is a very important it's constructed with kind selection that is a case selection based one I this is the inter the interdermic in the extinction happens uh, with the uh, last last uh, members the last existing members are given the species die uh, it's uh, it's this uh, the scientific uh, they are having some uh, basic uh, ideas that functional extinction is only a handful of individuals are left at the order of odd of reproduction are slim they are make us uh, they are providing the change and in the age structure they are pro the age population the population is comprised of individuals of different age groups that can consist in the age structure the age structure is very important it's having three major stages pre productive pro reproductive and post productive this in the pre productive and these various stages age groups this is divided into the different uh, re different uh, classifications in the structure the age structure population life uh, it's a uh, uh, the first developed by the life insurance uh, company is because uh, the many organisms have different survival and reproductive rates at the different stages uh, uh, the uh, humans are good example uh, the uh, here the uh, the population rate growth is very with the ages uh, here the open next concept is the uh, nature of the community in the one community they having the different uh, 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 different uh, populations that populations are independent are dependent species this independent are in that different species are associated with the uh, different uh, uh, concept the concept like the 
Gallius zone. It's uh, this Gallius zone is who challenged the that uh, Kalmestian's view. What is Kal uh, the Kalmestian view means? The few natural bodies exchange between exit between the between communities that and they precise the classification of community. Okay, if there is a one population group of people, in that group of people, uh, two kind two like uh, fair peoples and uh, that white whitey peoples and uh, long hair peoples that are easily separatable. So this is kind of the characterization, two characterization, precise classification of two community with the uh, their characters, their cooperation, their nature. The ectone, ecotones are naturals relate to and changes in community is caused by the physical environment not support uh, there uh, is they are full there it's fully about the physical environment but the it is the this, this new view of uh, galsonian's view as per the galsonian's view uh, only they are explaining this uh, nature of the community that is the Ecotone concept. The echo in the ec in the ecology community is the association of interaction, interacting species inhabited in uh, inhabited inhabiting in some defined area. That is on some particular place they are interacting, interacting species, and community structure means that community structure is. Uh, attributes such number of species and kind of species okay uh, what uh, that is how many uh, how, how much amount of there that is the count one and community function or its attributes such as energy flow through the food web okay uh, they some foods are needed for this particular one species another foods are needed for the particular species uh, it's all about the, the ecological community ecology in this uh, community characterization, we have uh, different uh, uh, concepts: the biodiversity, growth from uh, growth form and structure, relative abundance, and tropical structure. In that biodiversity, we we can uh, discuss how uh, in the biodiversity we we discussed in the earlier classes how we can uh, develop the country the, the country biodiversity the earth having particular biodiversity how can we maintain it the growth form and structure means uh, that forms the more vegetation categories that is that make a tree shrubs herbs more development the broad leaves needles like, that is the classification type okay broad leaf trees are in one group needle like uh, uh, they are one group this is all the community that the community development characterization relative abundance means the species are are equally abundant in the nature then tropical area based on the tropical area also we can classify the level of biosavity biodiversity three different levels are then within species that is the intraspecies uh, between species that is interspecies then community ecosystem diversity is measure the number of different species assemblage in one day, one particular place there is uh, n number of uh, species also available there we can calculate the particular species uh, level biodiversity how to measure okay these are all the uh, count we can calculate in the one group or different group are in an ecosystem here how we can cover is a taxonomical level counting that is the biodiversity one in the taxonomical count they can differentiate between in they are developing group between the kingdom phylum class order genus and species this is the ordering one this is a grouping uh, grouping based one so only they are making the taxonomy how to measure the biodiversity means that is uh, uh, developed and uh, they are classified by the uh, measured by the taxonomical level here in this uh, we have the concept called edge okay in the edge is a boundary of interface between two biological community or uh, between different 
landscape element this is the boundary it refers to the changes in the population or community structures that occur at the boundary of two habitats it may be between the bio two community it may be between the landscape it may be between the boundary of the habitats in this edges we have two types is a ecto ecotone uh, sorry three types it's a con convoluted and perforated in this ecotones the substantial distance is separated at the border that is uh, from the point where the physical condition and the vegetation do not differ from the entire patches that is the same vegetation is not differ the physical conditions alone changed in the con volatile uh, the border is non linear it may be in a, in a, it's in it's in a non linear manner in the perforated that gaps that a host border that gaps that is uh, host other the habitats about other habitats it's a specific focus on the ecotone because it's a concept important in the edges in the distribution uh, disturbance often created the ecotones but they also extinct as a natural transition between biome and ecosystem or eco ecosystem bios ec biome is a con it's known as the uh, it's a various eco system eco ecological landscapes thus ecotones are is a transition area between two adjacent ecological community they are two the between the two different communities it may be the two animal community in this concept uh we the it produce the boundary line it make a boundary line it just make a boundary line the are uh, in uh, before and after to the boundary line the ecotones are having the uh, it can able to transfer and characteristics of ecotone we have four different characters okay that character is a gradual one discontinued one hysteric Take one and multiple response. In the gradual one, it's a gradual one. It's a gradual increase of environmental variables. It's respect to the response. Very if there is environmental variations happen, there is the response become low. In the environmental variables are changing. The uh, in the variable response also change sometime and it's a discontinued. There is no response after some period. There is a response. and in the hysteric is occur uh, in a same degree Le the system is not in a proper mode it's a this it's a, it's a non linear one but multiple response the multiple in the environmental factors varies the response is in multiple form uh, here uh, another uh, important topic is ecological suction the ecological suction we having the primary suction secondary suction primary suction is uh, so uh is ecosystem start from uh, bare bare rock okay that is started from the rock in the secondary system they are built uh, from the ecosystem start from the soil the one thing the primary system uh, primary uh, suctions are uh, started from the bare rock the secondary suctions are filtered from the uh, ecosystem previous ecosystem that is the soil uh, is uh, uh, another way of uh, example the primary suctions are uh, suctions okay suctions are having the area that not previously supported for life okay rock is not supported for the life that if they pro develop their life between from from the li from the rock uh, that li that are called as the uh, called as the called as the uh, the primary succession and uh, the secondary succession means 
uh, that ex that developed the dis the developed life was developed from the previously existing community that is maybe the flood or that there is a fire or anything in this the binary species is produced the first species is uh, to colonize a uh, habit new habitat the first species is called as the the pioneer species in the climax community climax community is a end result of uh, succession which uh, uh, remains constant okay constant over the uh, year that is the end climax community the pioneer community is a first species the first plant that make a colonize then climax community means that is the uh, result at the end of the succession result the mechanism the mechanism is developed by the the canal uh, slattery model that in that model they explain the uh, facilitation tolerance habitation in this uh, the pioneering species is modified with the physical environment in uh, such a way that facilitate the colonization so due to the uh, using the environment physical environment they develop their colonies so that is the facilitated mechanism tolerance means if there is any salty content if there is any uh, metal ions in on soil that microbes it become resist to on that condition and develop their colonies that is make a tolerance on species make a environmental less fit that not able to survive in the particular place uh, that it's offer this offspringing although other species are able to colonize and reproduce replacement of early species with the other species then ex inhibition the early colonies are inhibited for their colonization of the uh, length of their lifespan one species is uh, developed their another species that species is not able not uh, allow them to try alive in the one particular place these are all the two three different mechanisms of uh, successions rate that rate um, uh, that facilitation is a uh, one thing tolerance and habitations in this model is example here you can see the facilitation uh, model it's a a it's make a b makes a c c makes a d that is a one sequential facilitation that environmental uh, are suitable for the various environment in in have in have inhibit inhibition model uh, in in the interference that is make a b make a b b make a d but d or c can inhibiting a the here the inhibitions are routine one tolerance one a is a make a b uh, it's producing b species or uh, the b producing c species or a may be produce the c this is a continuous process in any in, in earlier stage species can produce any either lesser favorable late uh, it's many species in the later condition this is a tolerance a means a produce a b c d all these organisms this is a kind of thing and change over time in the ecological successions rate we have different uh, uh, it's a it's a chi time change dependent one it have different stages it's suitable for many species and 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 sometimes unsuitable for the species uh, it's observe the observation the changes over the time the ecological success and rate is observed uh, it can take one uh, mere minimum one decay for observation in this uh, community ecology that uh, climax system is explained by the call uh, colmens at 1916 in the titled paper the plant succession and analysis of the development of vegetation it's one important thing in the every life ecosystem every system the final is the final plant is the uh, one important thing as like the uh, the initial pine species in this uh, ecology ecosystem for the survey for the survival lens they need two different factors one is the energy flow and there is a matter cycles the energy flow means here you can uh, see, you can see the ecosystem is aerobic chemicals are 
utilized by the producers that the producers are using the solar energy and this chemical and producing the consumers here the ecosystem is a combination of energy flow this energy flow is a heat then solar energy absorbance from sun to earth this is and, and another thing is the energy matters this energy is a uh, released from each and every steps so this energy is utilized uh, this also the matter cycles means that is a, a sulfur cycle nitrous cycle phosphor cycle many of them there this is a closed system it's interlinked so only they are closed this is a closed system here uh, the very important thing of uh, our, uh, the concept in the life cycle it's a prosperous cycle in this prosperous cycle uh, they are providing this is a soluble prosperous okay immobilization have the, they are immobilized with the microbe plant residue or human humus humus in the humus they are taken by the plant residue uh, they added the plant residue or the animal uh, ma the measures all the biosolids these all are the composition in the organic phosphorus okay they are mineralized with the solubles and our primary minerals appetites mineral surfaces that the clay if the that uh, if ions L, the aluminium oxides carbonates secondary compounds they also added this all are these uh, added to the soluble phosphorus making the leaching is usually for minor process and plant uptake this all things and the plant are producing the uh, uh, that uh, phosphor produce with the phosphorus content in that cell then another concept is a sulfur cycle in the sulfur also producing in the organic manner and in the nature the sulfur is a bacterial or produced from bacterial oxidization and bacterial uh, reduction the leaching process these three things are producing the um, uh, sulfate this sulfate is uptaken by the plant that producing the sulfur that sulfur gas is also absorbed by the environment then mineral cycles mineral how they take the minerals uh, the rocks the first thing is a phosphates are the minerals it's released weathering uh, the weathering weathering means Uh, due to the plant decomposition that are uh, uh, decomposed in the maker in a rock that rock actions uh, uh, that the rocks then uh, that is a weathering then actions of plant roots mining that their mining process after the mining process that uh, and the erosion happen that's uh, due to that process uh, that uh, finally they are mining they get the minerals before that in that inter cycle is a, a soil undergoing the uh, leaching and it's to oh, added to the ocean due to this decomposition that minerals are produced and the sea water system is a carbon dioxide cycle first thing is a mineral uptake in the plant that plant is uh, uh the it's after the decomposition that uh, as produced as is utilized as a fertilizer these are all the mineral utilization cycle and sea water uptaken by the plant the olive uh, production uh, that residues olive oil is it's for example of uh, olive oil uh, that example plant and it's reduce their olive production after some period that time that release the co2 can come uh, release that re they are releasing the co2 so they are uh, green electric and heat is produced for the in the green el co2 electrical cycle that co2 cycle this is a cyclic one in particular time the production happen after that that the residues from the uh, olive oil production is collected then nitrogen cycle it's nitrogen cycle we having Uh, various ways in the denitrification the uh, first thing is the uh, fertilizers marine food webs are developed or uh, that they are developing nitrogenous sedimentation fall to the ocean floor and the nitrification by the bacteria and uh, denitrification by the night uh, bacteria to n2 that n2 is is utilized as uh, in added to the environment 
another case the nitrogen fixation by the bacteria ammoni ammonification by the bacteria is forming the fungi to uh, and fungi make a NH4 this NH4 is converted into the NO2 by bacteria nitrification process this nitrification process by bacteria make a NO3 minus and denitrification by bacteria happens in the nature that make a nitrogen gas in the atmosphere these are all the possible ways and water cycle we always know about that in one ice lands or uh, the oceans are evaporated water that make atmospheric water the atmospheric water precipitated in the ice uh, the show as a snow and the uh, hills area that snows are melted with the vulcanite steam that is run off and come down that make a water ground water storage these are all the cyclic process and in the after this understanding of ecosystem we want to know how it is what is the production and decomposition it's a rate of production of organic matters it's a degradation of organic matter by the uh, it's a debt of plant or animal and it depends on the photosynthesis capability and it helps for helps of decomposers so that, that may be the bacteria or fungi many things sunlight is required for the production uh, the sunlight is not required for the decomposition or by by decomposers in this uh, uh, apart from this we need to know the ecosystems that is a marine ecosystem uh, is uh, in this ecosystem we having uh, their the animals and birds are living in the marine population that marine is uh, fish dolphins uh, crabs birds are there it's uh, uh, we are making the pop the pollution and human development is a threatened to the threats to the aquatic system the aquatic biome is a freshwater system and marine system freshwater system is a lakes ponds streams and uh, rivers marshes and swamps in the marine system we have ocean coastal wetlands in the type of ecosystem the i am already mentioned it's a freshwater ecosystem tradi uh, transitional ecosystem that is the wetland uh, and uh, sturastics and uh, marine ecosystem it's a different coral reefs open oceans this is all the marine ecosystems and uh, then uh, after this come the accompanying to this marine ecosystem we have the iceland biography this I iceland biography is a unique process the iceland is developed and uh, that is specific for one species that is the meaning of iceland in the it's uh, in iceland theory is explained with the uh, the climate there is uh, habitat change and extinction that may happen in the one particular place the introduction of single predator is a behavior uh, can be dramatic impact on the local community that is affect the iceland in this iceland migrate that uh, biography theory the equilibrium theory is important one this equilibrium theory explain the immigration extinction and iceland size distinct from the mainland this theory is uh, it, it's very important and uh, this is uh, uh, applied to the iceland of habitat within the traditional system and this iceland theory that is depressal limitation uh, establishment limitation that is two things at uh, and persistence limitation that is three things are there that uh, for depressed depressal limitation assistance regeneration add and add the passage of uh, to be facilitated birds depressal and it's uh, an est establishment depressal it provide the high habitat import their substrate that is the establishment that supporting then uh, uh, the restore the persistent means restore large habitat blocks the minimum fragmentation so provide the uh, uh, the corridor between the two habitat blocks uh, maintenance maintain it's a, it's a supporting one then depressal limitation it's a regeneration establishment it's provide the support and heterogeneity higher high habitat provide the high habitat and the persistent it's make a uh, large habitat blocks minimum fragmentation 
it provides the quadrature between habitat blocks in this equilibrium uh, the size is very important here the distance effect one species is uh, isolated in one particular place that same species and with the other species are in one particular place in small place the larger place occupied by one is here the smaller space is occupied by the different species this is a different distance effect then target sized that is a, is a distance based one one is here one and one bird is here the same bird is also available in that island here the target sized one it's a, it's a, it's a small island is only focused for uh, only provided for one species here the larger island is separated there is there, there is a dif distance between the population that is difference between the species and differential extension is totally different uh, totally lived different uh, isolated from the mainland it's a differential one uh, here the biome concept is the biome we all know this aquatic system desert system forest system grassland and the torunda uh, here the major biofilms are <coughs> tropical islands this tropical islands are uh, described with the different relative constants it's a rainfall uh, in the relative constant and the temperature is very always warm in the rainfall it's a main tropical area uh, main, main major bio biome in uh, india in also all the world the tropical forest is a major biome in this uh, biome we have two different there is a grassland this grassland we two examples are uh, the pra uh, prairies uh, that is a not at all of rain only grasses okay next is uh, savanna is a more rainy place there is no Oh, this are already two different grasslands and the rainy forest is divided into two types is a temperate rainforest tropical rainforest temperate rainforest is further from the farther far far there from the equator tropical is close to the equators it's very important thing the tropicals are very uh, near to the equator the temperate based uh, rainforest are far from the equator uh, this is a table of concept of tropical desert temperate temperate desert grassland various grassland please refer this slide i will send the ppt because uh, this is the press location okay the middle tropical deserts are in the mid latitude temperate desert the tropical is present in the mid latitude temperate desert is present in the mid latitude polar desert at the present at the polar the tropical grasslands are in equator temperate grasslands at the equator the the e equatorial at the far from equatorial uh, the the polar grasslands are the polar the chaparral is a mid latitude the tropical rainforest in the equatorial uh, this the deciduous forest that is the mid latitude that uh, tikka that is from the equators these are all the things that uh, and then uh, uh, pers precipitation that is the uh, high the season level high is low, high or low seasonals the temperature is high or low these are all the things are very important the example animals are adaptation here the tropical deserts are adaptable for a kangaroo rat and uh, grey sort bro the bush the temperate desert is the uh, habitat for the white flowers and reptiles the temperate desert is the for the reptiles the polar deserts are penguins and uh, better cops the tropical grasslands are grasses and zebras and uh, temperate grasses are wolves wolves and grasses the polar grasslands are low shrub and it's specific for squirrels because there is a when it trees are there polar grasslands uh then uh, the pearls that is a blue oak and black tailed jack rabbit the tropical rainforest is a bengal bamboo and uh, chimpanzees all in the tropical rainforest uh, then uh, deciduous uh, forest that is a lady fern and american broad eagle the chika having the mosses and the evergreen trees temperate rainforest having the uh, to goals 
fur and boots the mountains are having the grey fox and flowers in the indian biological it's the last one india's having biological zones this is a major 10 biological zones alone it's a fixed one india having the major 10 biological uh, zones that biological zones is divided it's reported by the forest and wildlife department of and the government of india then the trans himalayan upper it's a re, upper region okay and the himalayas are the north west himalayas he west himalayas central himalayas and eastern himalayas in the desert is a kuchu tar lak ladakhs are the deserts and uh, semi rd is uh, arid it's a uh, central india and gujarat uh, rajwar and western ghats is a malabar ghost western ghats mountains it's in tamil nadu the deccan peninsula it's a uh, different uh, it's a chota nagpur center the central plateau these are all these that highlands central highlands that gangetic gangetic plains they are the upper gangetic plain the lower gangetic plains and north east india they are having the uh, the brahmaputra valley and uh, north easter hills the islands and the andaman nicobar islands uh, host the western coast these are coastal areas the west coast and east east coast these are all the major biological areas uh, till now we discussed the unit 10 and tomorrow we will discuss the unit 12 thank you for your patience uh, now we will end up this today's class thank you yeah is yes, uh, western god started from uh, river tapti gujarat end from the rlvai muli thank you ma'am